Hello, I'm going to demonstrate workflows your student may experience when logging into one of our CCC online initiatives through your college website. In this case, we'll be demonstrating a student logging into MyPath, but the same experience would hold true logging into Common Assessment Campus. So in our first demonstration, we have a student by the name of Rose Reeves who applied to College A through Apply. And because they went through Apply, College A was able to download their CCC ID and load it into College A's Active Directory account for the student. So let me demonstrate what that would look like. So Rose comes to the college website and clicks on My Path. Here you see College A's identity provider. So Rose will enter her user ID and password. Because Rose had a CCC ID interactive directory account, Rose went straight into my path without uh, any further interaction. But let me set the next demonstration. So in this case, we have a student by the name of John Demo. Now John has been a long time student at College A, uh, long before apply and the CCC ID. So CCC ID is not in John's Active Directory account. So because it's not in his Active Directory account, the SSO proxy will intercept this single sign-on request and prompt John to either create a new CCC ID or perhaps recover his existing CCC ID if he has one. So let me show how that would look. So again, we come to the College IDP. John logs in. And because he didn't have a CCC ID in the single sign-on request, the SSO proxy intercepted the request and redirected John to OpenCCC. In this example, John can either create a new CCC ID through the OpenCCC account or uh, recover his OpenCCC account if he knows his username and password or uh, there's other ways to recover by entering information such as social security number, name, address, etc. So in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new account, and it's really a pretty quick, simple thing to do. So here we start the OpenCCC flow, and we begin creating an account. Here I will enter his information. Social security number. Email address. Phone number. Address. CCC username. Security pin. And some security questions to help recover your account. And now we've created an OpenCCC account, and you can see that it prompts the student to remember his username and password and also gives them their CCC ID. So we'll, we will click Continue. Now John will log in with the username and password he just created. And now 
he's taken to path. So that's all we have to do. So now that in the next example, um, obviously we don't want him to have to fill that information out every time. So the SSO proxy remembers that he created an OpenCCC account during this login attempt and saves it so that the next time John logs in, he doesn't have to fill all that information out. So let me show that. All right, so John, this is the next day. He logs into my path. And as you can see, he is taken directly into my path and, and did not was not prompted to enter his OpenCCC account information. And that concludes our demo. Thank you.